Hey Kofi friends, this is Simone. I am going to film a July Inky Thoughts video for you and it's going to be more of a stream of consciousness video because I just, I need to talk through the things that I want to ink up and maybe keep on. So let me start. When I was doing swatches and stuff previously in my color family swatch book, I came upon these inks, these four that I would love to use. Um, this one, Robert Oster African Gold, um, Wearing Gold Wayfarer, because I feel like it's very, very similar to J. Urban Emerald de Chevoir. However, it doesn't have a gold shimmer. It has a purple shimmer. And I'm so enamored with this. So I was thinking of this. And then I had the idea of using Pilot Iroshizuku Yamabudo in the uh, in my only vanishing point, which is yellow, which then brought me to that thought process that maybe what I could do as a theme in July or whenever I'm ready to ink up those pens is to put like kind of a high contrast color, not necessarily on the opposite spectrum of the color wheel, um, but something that pops, you know, and so, so then I was like, okay, I do I have enough? What pens could I use? Um, I really want to use a shimmer in this. So then this would also be a high contrast. It's definitely not in the same color family. And then I also came across this Van Diemen's Mandarin Duck Wing that I thought I want to use. So... The reason why I want to use this one is because it's super close to all the red-brown inks that I have seem to be gravitating towards. And then I also, the African gold is super similar to all of those yellowish tones that I I really am also drawn to. So I, I, I have been tr wanting to use this one for a while. So I thought maybe this month would be the month that I would use this. So this is where I am. I also purchased this broad um, Twisby Mini AL Grape uh, that I haven't inked up at all yet. Um, but, and, and this would also be really cool, that's very similar but then i met up with my friend uh a friends amy and mar and i got this ink which is color traveler sanuki udon dashi gold and i haven't swatched this in my swatch book yet but i put it in here this and this would look really cool and it's a shimmer ink so i'm thinking maybe i could use this one here so if I want to do high contrast or opposite, what's the opposite spectrum of the color wheel? What other pens do I have that would follow this? Um, and then also what other pens are there that I have still ink that I want to keep on using until they're done or, or so. This is a new pen. I already shared it on Kofi. Um, new to me. Again, this was also lent to me by my friend Amy. Um, it's the Twisby Diamond 580 with in red. So again, then I could put a high contrast in here. What color would I want to use for this? What other pens do I have that would work with that idea of putting a high an opposite color, you know? So I have, this is what I have. I thought maybe I could put uh, Van Diemen's Mandarin Duckwing in here. I have these two that would lend themselves pretty well to this. Maybe this for, I mean, I already have pink. And then I'm also creating, I'm always creating a rainbow, right? So, 
there's that. <laughs> I have a lot of dark brown black pens at the moment, or a lot. I have three black pens, which mm, I don't really think that I want to do the color contrast with those. Because what, what is the, the opposite? White? Yeah, so that's where I am right now. And I don't know if that idea is going to be able to come to fruition. Maybe. A, oh, I remember. I thought with this one. How about a blue? And I think I remember what I thought. The dark blue. Another one that Amy brought Diamine Hell Spells. Um, this is a sheening. Yeah, says the person who doesn't like sheening inks. Look at this. Isn't this cool? I like that. This one on top. Dark blue, red sheen. This would really work here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. But I don't have a pen for this yet. Unless I'm deciding that I'm going to put this in here. This one would also work with a contrasting color, but I currently have Rouge Grenat in here by Urban and it's still pretty full. I'm not sure when I'm going to ink these up. I'm currently filming this on Monday, June 26th. I'm kind of over the pens, but I'm also not ready to let them go yet. So, hmm. And then, then I'm again with red. I don't have a green yet. A green ink. Let's let's grab another, yet another notebook, which I cannot find right here. So this is my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pens then, right? Pink. If I say this is pink, red. Maybe this one. If we stretch the colors, then this is red. Don't have an orange. I have a yellow. A green I don't have. Maybe this one. Or this is the yellow. So I... If I say this is yellow, then this is green. Don't have an orange yet. Then blue would be this one or indigo maybe, then I could have this as my turquoise. So I need a red and a violet, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I also still have a lot of ink in this pen and I want to use this to the very end because this is my favorite orange. And then I'm not using any of my newer pens at all, like this, or this, or this. These just came in recently. This is my newest, but I wouldn't use any of those. Could I survive this? I mean, this is also... I probably could, then it's just a shorter inky month. I also wondered, was wondering if I wanted, I haven't used this, this one in a while and I really like it, but what would I need? Orange. I don't want to put an orange ink in here. Huh. Is this going to work? Is this not going to work? And then I also, I don't want to unink most of those pens. Uh, there is a purple in here, this Appetite is the last drop that I still have in here. I still have some ink in here. I'm okay with uninking those. I'm not okay with uninking this one. I'm okay with uninking this one. So where would that... Let me, let me put this. This one I also want to keep still for a while. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh my gosh. Way too many pens inked. I guess I'll have to make an effort to write those dry. What if I tried this and then see where I go and ink up pens throughout the month? Let me know what you think about this idea. I have, I, I'm like, I really don't have any idea um, if this is even going to work. 
I think most of those inks and pens combinations would work well. I don't want to unink this pen though. I have problems, you know. And I don't want to not use this pen either. Really, really bright green. And this one works well in here too. Uh, uh, okay. I am going to stop this video right here. Um, what do you think? Or maybe we can swatch those inks here. That would be cool. I can do this because I really, I still haven't swatched those. I already have water here. I was going to do something else completely different, but that's a good idea. I can swatch those and then I have swatch cards for those for my currently inked video whenever that is coming out. Yeah, um, this, this situation that I'm, I'm actually not ready to to let go of most of those inks and pen combinations hasn't really happened yet on the one hand i'm i'm over them like i i have written with them extensively this one has been inked since may um and it's it is what it is you know but there's still ink there but and i also don't want to get rid of that ink um, this one I can let go, but all of the other ones are really nice writers and so this purple, this appetite, the Earl Grey, maybe that's a sign that I need to buy bottles of those inks. <laughs> Don't know. Um, but yeah, so there's, oh my goodness, the pen is falling onto my lap. So I'm just going to put those in here so they're put aside. Um, I also want to use my brown pen roll from so that I can like lift through the FOMO. I really want that green Yoseka stationery um, pen roll, but I have this brown one and maybe I should just use what I have, right? Isn't that how it's supposed to be? I don't like putting Kaweco sports in here because they always go all the way down. Don't like that. Let's put this next to it. I don't have a nib on this. Oh, I do. This is my medium nib. And I think I'm just going to use that for this rotation. I'm going to put this in here. I'm not going to put that in here because there's still ink in here and I need to clean this before I can use it. But I'm going to put those cards. Do I leave this here because I need to talk about this in another video? Well, I don't know. And then I... The reason why I want to put this in here is because it's a Pilot Iroshizuku ink and I haven't really had good success with any other inks and I really like that combination. So that's going to go in here for now so that I keep those those thoughts together. I don't roll my pen roll. I'm putting this here. I don't have a, a, a another use case for this pen roll besides my fountain pens at the moment. And so, yeah, why... Would I want to buy another one? Because it's green and because it's ready. All right, let me grab the things that I need. Where is that? Here. One, two, three. And then I need my swatch book, which is right here. Every time I look through this, I'm like, I... I want to use this ink, I want to use that ink, I want to use this and that. Is there space for another three? Yep, I can put those right here. So... Is there a front and back? I don't know. My problem with cutting them by myself was that I, my cutting mat was super unsticky so the paper would move around on it when I was cutting it. So I used some um, removable glue like glue spray to make it sticky again but then this is what happened. I have sticky backs here and those stick to the other cards. Not cool. I need this. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, I need this. Is that all I need? I need the stand. 
which is right here. I was going to do a uh, ink exploration of Robert Oster Morning Mist. So then this, and then I need three of those. One, two, three. And I also, let me just also put them into my color family notebook and then I need a chromatography strip as well. Then I need to oil my drawers. So, I think that's all I need. Yup. I want to write here that these are, I need a ruler, 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 ruler. right here. My husband just moved upstairs, so I thought maybe he was going to come downstairs, but he didn't. Okay, I need to make more space. I need this too. I would really love to know your thoughts on my inky thoughts for July. Haven't really, yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. How am I usually doing this? Let's do this one first. This one I got from Mar. These ones I got from Amy. So on this side, over here. Yeah. As you can clearly see, I haven't made ink swatches in a while. I need this. Is there another one? Yep, right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do this first, then I know what color this is, then I can put it onto a page if there's one left here, and then, okay, this is not, sh oh, this is, is this shimmer? I don't, yeah, it is, I can see some shimmer here. I usually put this right here first. <laughs> oh, this is very light. It's a light green brown. Let's see what it turns out to be. I seem to be drawn to these muddy, muddy olive greens. Okay this to the side. I need this right here. Uh, I'm not going to, do I, am I going to shake it up again? No, we'll just deal with it. I need a clip to clip this. All right. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Interesting. Okay. So, and it's chromo shading too. As you can see, it's splitting up. It, it To me, it looks like a little bit like sea glass maybe. Is that the color that I'm thinking of? Just with shimmer. Why is there water on this? Okay. I'm putting this really low so I can have this broad stroke and then I'm tilting it up a little bit more so I can get this medium and then this and the tiny one. Troublemaker. What's the name of the ink, though? Espana Boulevard. Okay. My branch thingy, leaves. And then let me write on here. Ugh. Ugh, ugh. It's not working. Yesterday I went hiking and my husband, every time I stumbled, we 
hiked across snow. Um, and we didn't have the best shoes and equipment with us. So that was kind of, actually it was dangerous. -y. Um, so every time I would stumble, I would, I would do these, uh-oh, or hoo-hoo. My husband was like, where's the sound? Then I stumbled without sound. He was like, where's the sound? He was making fun of me because he's cool and I'm not as bun. Yeah. Boulevard. Okay. And then I'm doing this. Okay. Not working. Too much. A. B. C. And A. See. Okay. Okay. So this is. Let me do the chromatography first. I'm usually putting one minute. I don't have an Alexa here. Uh oh. I don't. I'm using my phone too. <laughs> This is not good. Do we guess? Where can I find a timer? Let me quickly come back. This is totally going to mess with the scientific um, research because now it's not super wet. But I found a timer. So I'm usually only dipping it on the bottom. So I'm not in submerging the... Uh, strip that I have just put there the ink into the water and I'm doing it for the same amount of time just because I think that I can compare them better that way so I don't have one dipped for 30 seconds and one dipped for two minutes and um, usually it just continues to move up after the minute of the water bath, but there's still enough water to m separate the inks more or the dye more. And what else did I want to say? If I was really doing this very scientifically, I don't think I could use the same water. I, I should use the exact same water. And then I'm usually clipping it, I'm folding it up here so I can clip it here and it's not sticking to the wood. And then, oh, I didn't write on this. I'm just going to put them in order and then I'm standing it in somewhere so it doesn't fall. Okay, so let's put the ink somewhere. So what color would we say this is? This is a, a light green. I have yellow. This one is already full. I guess that would work. I think I have a better uh, one of those also. I still need to put my bottles in here. That's what I was going to do um, before I filmed the video. I have one where the gr this one. I think I want to put this on here. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I thought this was the same, but it's totally not. Okay, last thing I want to do is, okay, I need to shake it up again, I guess. This is going to be so much longer than I thought it was going to be, but it's okay. It's a Kofi special. I decided that I was, I'm going to uh, so I'm not putting these videos behind the paywall, but I'm sharing them on my Kofi feed, uh, unlisted in YouTube first. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put any videos behind the paywall yet, but that's what I'm going to do. And then two to three weeks after, um, I'm going to make them public on YouTube as well. So you don't have to go through um, Kofi or Kofi Espana Boulevard. It's interesting. I on this paper, yes, it looks all olive or 
with some yellow included. Let me check if I if there's mm, yeah, maybe up here. But on this paper, it oh, look what it does here. It clearly looks very different to those. This looks like Robert Oster Avocado, but then it's probably closer to the ones in the front here. Let's look at the chromatography. Alcohol Grün is similar. But then also, yeah, see Avocado has, this has more pink. Sorry, I have my dip pen in my mouth. Avocado is more pink. This one is more salmon-y. This one is super pink. And yeah, that's what I was saying. I was thinking it was similar, but it, I guess it's, it is, but it's also not. Huh, interesting. That's, that's why I think, so I, as you can see, I'm almost finished with this book. The only items I need to add is the new inks. That's why I think this book is going to be the best resource for me. So like the one that I have made that is most legible or gives me the most information about all of those inks my i think it would be even more versatile i recent my sons when they moved they discarded of their old baseball uh collection card folders this in one of those folders where you can remove the individual cards would be even better because then as like a planner you could remove those you wouldn't have them I like, but I, I, what I really like is having these here, but then in those folders, you could put this on a card and then this on another card and just slide them in back to back. So like this card with this card. And then if you were going to move this, you could just take out this card and leave this in here. If that makes sense. I, I mean, can you follow my thought process? Okay, so I have this one now. Ugh, throwing stuff away. This is, I said it before, it's going to be a long video. I totally understand if you don't want to watch this, that's fine, but it is what I'm in the mood for. So this one's made, done. I can put this into my sample case. Where's all the other samples though? What? Where? I just had three samples and they're gone. Okay, I'm looking for them and then I'll be back. Why didn't you say anything? They're right here. Oh. Okay, next one is, do we want to do this one? This is another one of these ones, I think. Maybe it's even, maybe it's more like this one. Where did I put emotional olive? down here do I have a new paint and I thought this one was all it this is so much darker I have another one so I'm going to put see I put emotional olive on here uh, the reason why I did this is because I feel like this is I started with this one and so I'm trying I, I I'm looking okay these are similar which ones do I think are similar as well and I'm going by these cards right here so I'm I'm looking at these cards and then I'm putting them into a, like a, a pile, putting them here. And then I'm, I'm seeing that this one is way lighter than this one. And then when I started picking out cards that would be similar to this one, this one came up again. And I think it fits in more. So there is repeats. I think I don't have all of my samples swatched in here. That's a, a project that I still want to work on. Um, but yeah, so, okay, next. I think this is too dark to go on here. Yeah. I was thinking quickly that maybe this would work here too. I, do you even see this? This one is too dark to be on here. I, I do think that it has a space in this place, on this page 
because it's very similar to the ones. It's, it's chromo shading. I don't see the shimmer though. A little bit, I can see. Okay, let's start with the next one. Let's stop chatting and look at this. Where's my card? Where's my, where's my stuff? I am not, okay. Maybe this works. All right, so, <gasps> what is this? This is bright. This is just so fascinating. I don't think I would, in, I wanna put it in a pen. I don't think I would probably enjoy writing with this for a long time. <laughs> But maybe it's more legible than I currently have this one in the medium uh, Benu, but maybe this one is more legible in abroad. In German, I would say I get Augenkrebs from this because it's so bright. It's like neon. I said this one, uh, Hota Ruby was neon, but this is even more neon. I really need to get this in that purple twisby. I think that's going to be so fun. Do I need this for something else? Yes, right here. Okay, that, 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 that. Now, this is clean. Let's just dip it one more time and check. All right, I don't know the name of this yet, so I going to do the swatch right here first and then medium broadness tiny -ness. color traveler have you used color traveler yet I heard that these are a new brand. Again, Amy. Amy finds all those amazing things. Sanuki. And I found them on Vaness. Udon. Dashi. Dashi. Gold. And let me know what your experience is with those inks. I find it... Do you see any of the shimmer? No, I don't. Okay. But it feels like the ink comes off this nib really easily and there's a long way to go with this. Sanuki. I think Amy bought this because it's a noodle. Udon dashi. Cannot write today. Gold. And then... Yeah, it, it seems it might flow well, even if even though it's a shimmer. That's just me guessing from the nib, but I, I've i been using this nib quite often and I, I do feel like I can predict how an ink performs in a pen to some extent for sure. I would say that this one doesn't even go here. So the closest one I can... No. What is this color? <laughs> I think I'm still going to put it on yellow. What other colors do I have here that I could put this on? Not this one. Not this one. None of these. I guess most of the yellows that I have are, I think I would put it here, maybe even on the green one, just to see what it looks like. Do I put it twice? Then I need two chromatography strips. I think I'm going to do that. Because it's my book, I can do whatever I want. Okay. Usually when I do this, I write with a pencil because I usually do them in mass 
like I, I would make a whole page and then I would need to be able to determine between those. I cut them off then, but I write something with a pencil so I can remember which ink is what. Okay, done. I'm gonna stop the video right here because I have to do this twice. I'll be back. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. It's definitely more green than yellow. This is what it looks like. The other one looks like. There's green, yellow, maybe a tiny bit orange. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so, oh, I need to clip this on there as well. My son made this for me. It's supposed to be a box and he put all different things on there. He didn't want to make the box. So I uh, said, oh, that's cool. I can use this for that. So I'm, I'm happy it's not a box. Okay, so closing this again for the shimmer. gonna put it on the front one um, after because it still needs to dry of course Sanuki Udon Dashi Udon Dashi Gold This is, of course, a D. Okay. So this one's done. Ah, I still have ink on my nib. So it would be, oh, and I smeared over here. It would be easiest if I did this right now, right? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So this is going to be an experiment. I'm holding this right like so in the hopes that it's going to, uh, this is going to look so wrong. I just, it's okay. It's my book. I can do whatever I want with my book. And I'm already having FOMO. I did not finish my thought process about the FOMO. Um, I have several pages left in this book, but I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do when this runs out. I haven't really found a place where I can buy those. This I got included in the ink um, flight box. And at first I didn't really know what to do with it, but now I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do if I run out of this? Because it's so good. I love this. So if you have found a place where you can get those, let me know because maybe I need to stock up on them. Color Traveler. Sanuki. I have already given this away. I should have kept this because I want to order some ink samples from yellow ink samples from Vanessa to compare. And now I put this here, so it is what it is. Yellow, green. I'm going to put this, mm -mm, this is not going to work. What if I put this here so it doesn't fall? Oh, I'm, I can just put this right here. And I think that's going to work. Yep. Okay. Build something so I we can swatch the other one. And when this is done, then... Um, it's going to be dry. I'm declaring it dry. This is Diamine Hell Spells. I think this is a German ink. Again, I got this from Amy. Um, oh, look at this. 
let's see how this writes. Oh, this feels super dry. I heard that sheening inks tend to be more on the dry side. So the idea was to put this in the green, in the, the red, um, what's that called? Twisby Diamond 580, but that's a fine nib. Would that be make a difference? I guess it would be good in, in a in a Twisby because of the cap, which seals quite well compared to other caps. All right, and then here the oh my god. This just you know, I love the blue. It's such a dark is this indigo? I don't even know. The cap. This is... So, I, if you had told me like a year ago that I would like this ink, I would have told you that you were just wrong. I am not ever going to like this ink. But I do, actually. So, this is... Are we going to start here? Yes, we are. This is... It does remind me of uh, Tsukiyo, though, I think. Where did I swatch that? Um, Diamine? Hells? Bells? A, B, C. Yep. What did I do here? Oh, there's water on here. Okay. Where is Sukiyo? Sounds like something fell. here not here where did I swatch that here no this is darker it is similar but in the swatch this one is definitely darker this one is definitely darker than this one but this also has a red sheen hmm weird weird look at me changing my taste we need this one. Okay. Diamine. Then let me get some more. Do this. I'm going to stop the video and come back in a sec when it's almost done. Nine seconds. I almost forgot. This it takes a long time traveling up this um, chromatography strip. So it hasn't separated out. Well, it does. There's green down here. Let's see what it does when it's when it's done. Let me put this one more time. Okay. And I already found the spot where it's going in to the book. I haven't done a chromatography strip for Sukiyo because when I did this I had already packed all of my uh, bottled inks into boxes or into one box. I don't have that many <laughs> bottled inks and it didn't fill up the box just so you know. Um, and so I just was able to do chromatography strips from samples and this one looks very similar to that Stargazer. But that one has a shimmer included as well. But here you can see this and here you can see this. It has some gray at the bottom and then it's moving up through blues. And then there is um, this dark green, which this one has as well. So that might be a very similar ink, except that it has glitter. 
diamond. This page is definitely not perfect or, well, I thought that Sukiyo, this has, it has a, it leans green. And so I thought these would work as well. But this one, for instance, is totally an ultramarine. This one too. This one as well. This one is completely different. But it also has some reds in here. So these are all warm reds. Whereas those you would probably consider uh, warm blues. Whereas those, this one and these you would consider colder blues. And this one is different too. Okay, so... Thanks so much for watching. I would love to hear your thoughts on my inks. What other pens could I use? And what other colors of inks should I try and include in this July inked pens? Usually I also try and move over some of the inks and pens that I have, but I'm not sure if any of those would actually work. This with orange, yes. I have to think on that again a little for a little while and I would love to hear your input because nothing is set in stone yet. Until next time, I will see you soon. Bye.